Hi everyone, Angela here. I'll be using this lightweight stretch velour to show you my two favorite methods to sew giant scrunchies. Fold your fabric with right sides together and square off the bottom edge. Fold the fabric again and then I'm going to cut one piece 7 inches wide and the other piece 6.5 inches wide. From the fold measure across 23 inches and cut for a total of 46 inches in length. At the folds, cut small notches on each edge. Fold again into quarters and cut notches through all the layers at the fold. This will really help when sewing so that the tube doesn't get twisted, especially if you're using stretchy fabric. Using quarter inch elastic, cut a length 10 inches long for the first method and 8 inches long for the second method. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. With the short sides together and using a half inch seam allowance, start by back tacking, stitch about an inch and then back tack again. Lift the needle and foot and then leave an opening about three fingers wide or two inches Stitch the rest of the seam back tacking at the start and finish, and then trim your threads. Open it up with the seam on the bottom, and then fold up the top fabric so that it's nice and skinny. Bring your bottom edges together and match together at the seam. Open up your seams and clip in place. Again using a half inch seam allowance, start your stitching from the seam. Sew a couple of inches and then with your needle down, pull that center fabric down as much as possible. Keeping that center fabric out of the way, continue stitching all around, matching the edges and all the notches. This is called the burrito method. When you get back to the start, just overlap your stitching a couple of inches and trim your threads. I'm using the clover bodkin and inserting the 10 inch elastic through the opening. Pull it down to secure it in place. Insert this through the scrunchie and gather the fabric together. Hold on to the ends of the elastic and remove the bodkin. Then tie it like a balloon, leaving about an inch at the ends. Holding on to one side, pull all the fabric out through the opening. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. If you have a label, you can insert it between this opening. You can slip stitch this opening close by hand, but I'm just going to pinch the folds together, push the fabric in and out of the way, and then edge stitch it close by machine. Stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge, back tacking at the start and finish. With the opening seam in the center of the scrunchie, you have a nice clean seam all around the outer edge. For the second method, overlap the ends of the 8 inch elastic about half an inch and then stitch together with several rows of shorter stitches. Stitch the short ends together, back tacking at the start and finish. Open it up and fold the top fabric just like before, but this time put the loop of elastic in between and pull the left side of the bottom fabric through and then match your seams. Start by back tacking and stitch with the same burrito method, but this time when you pull the fabric down, you also have to pull it through the elastic at the same time. So just do a bit at a time, matching the edges and all the notches. At the end, leave an opening about 3 fingers wide or 2 inches and back tack. Pull the scrunchie right side out. Again, you can slip stitch the opening close by hand or easily edge stitch it close by machine. This stitch line won't be that noticeable once it's being worn. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up next. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing. <laughs>